So why is Allah saying to him the following ayah? Stay away, ya Muhammad, from idols. You're supposed to be a follower of Jesus, and you're using words like that. Well, and it's not my words. I, 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 it's not my words. It's the words of Allah. Are you embarrassed of Allah? I was debating a Sunni Muslim on TikTok about how his God Allah looks like and we discussed the authentic hadith from the book of Ibn Taymiyyah wherein the Prophet of Islam said, I saw my Lord in the shape of a beardless young boy with curly hair wearing a green garment. So Allah is a young boy. After that conversation, one of his Muslim boyfriends who calls himself Omar, aka anti shubuhat opened a live stream on TikTok about me and tried to refute me. So the Muslims panicked, in other words, and tried to do damage control afterwards. A dear brother was recording their conversation and sent me the video file. So let's hear what these pagans had to say about me. Okay, so here it is. Uh, volume 7, same book. Mufil Hadith Sahih Marfu' and Qatada. Okay, this is the one. So he said in page 290, it says So let's see anywhere where it says on this page. He said on the same page, it says Where is that? I don't see that. Now that's how Muslim Dawa boys deceive their ignorant Muslim audience. Remember, more than 90% of all Muslims on this planet don't speak Arabic. So it's very easy to deceive them. This stone kisser must be either blind or he's simply playing dumb to deceive his gullible Muslim audience who don't know Arabic. If we open the same book of Ibn Taymiyyah and we go to volume 7, page 290, and go to that same page he's showing on the screen, like I said, which is page 290, remember he said, nowhere in the page does it say it's Ru'yat Ain, which means Muhammad saw Allah with his eyes. This is the one. So he said in page 290, it says Ru'yat So let's see anywhere where it says Ru'yat on this page. He said on the same page, it says Ru'yat Where is that? I don't see that. Is this guy blind? It's literally in front of him on the page that he's showing. What a shameless liar. Yes, it does say that on page 290. Look ya jahil. It says on the same page you are showing in Naha Ru'yat Ain. Busted! Do you understand why we always say without lies, Islam dies? That's how they deceive people. So let's see anywhere where it says Ru'yat Ain on this page. He said on the same page it says Ru'yat Ain. Where is that? I don't see that. 290, okay, here. So you said, Ru'yatayn, where is it? Nope, nothing about Ru'yatayn. So, yeah, they lied. Of course. <coughs> um, but this one itself, uh, Ibn Taymiyyah does authenticate the vision, but like, even then, there, there are those who we can I accept it because I think there's like better arguments for it. The vision of the dream of the young man. I mean, yeah. you brought it. Yeah. Can you go up? Go up? Go up? Yeah. Now his sheikh, who calls himself Sheikh World Dawa, joins the panel to help him to refute me supposedly. Now watch carefully. Please focus how this sheikh will lie and deceive all of these poor gullible Muslims who don't know Arabic. Because remember, without lies, Islam dies. Even the imams have to lie. Uh, there, there, there. What do you say, Ahl al-Hadith? Can you show me that again? Yes, so it says... Uh, okay. Yeah, right there, uh, right, there, right there. Okay, see, what does he say? Can you go to the footnote? Number the footnote? Uh, <laughs> can you go to the highlight one now? The one you showed in the very beginning, the highlighted one? Uh, uh, yes. This is why it's taking yes. you back there. 
This is the one. Yes, so what does it say that in Surah Al-Shab? What's a five? Ziyadah min nas al-hadith. So this is not part of the hadith. This was added. This is fake. Subhanallah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, is so the hadith is authentic, Ziyad? but that part is, can you show this? Can you show? See, it's in the bracket, right? Yeah. That bracket is not the wording in the hadith. Wait, so just the word Shab is, is the other? Yeah, the word Shab, which is the young man, is not part of the hadith. It Wait, was so what would it be without it. that? Sorry? What would it be without Shab? Like, what would it read? Yes, just seeing Allah. This shaky sheikh says that the word Shab is fake because in the footnote it says it's added extra to the hadith. Notice he doesn't reject this authentic hadith because he knows it's sahih. It's authentic. But what he's trying to explain that his prophet saw Allah with his eyes, but he didn't see him as a young boy. He's only trying to refute the idea that Allah is a young kid. Did you catch that? But then uses this argument to deceive the Muslim audience and calls it fake. What this ignorant sheikh doesn't know is that the highlighted word is added by Ibn Taymiyyah himself to explain the word Amrad, which is next to it. And in the footnote, foot number five, it says Ibn Taymiyyah added it to explain the hadith. So understand that Ibn Taymiyyah added this word Shab in the brackets to explain the next word Amrad, which is part of the hadith. Now, what does the word Amrad mean? Here is an official dictionary. Amrad means having no beard, beardless. So Ibn Taymiyyah added the word Shab to explain that Allah is a young boy who has no beard. So Allah is a young kid, a baby boy. Did you understand it? Did you catch it? I mean, if their sheikh is ignorant about his man-made religion and fake God Allah, then what can we expect from these ignorant Dawah boys who deceive other gullible Muslims with their ignorance? Wallahi, wallahi, you and your Dawah are finished. Wallahi, you're finished. By the way, I have challenged this so-called sheikh for a debate countless times. He never accepted and simply run. Now ask yourself, why the Mashaykh, their Imams and Shuyukh are running from the Arab Christian? Because I would cook him in an actual debate. Now let's see what classical scholars said about Muslims of today who reject this authentic hadith, saying Allah is a beardless young man. In the following book called Naqt Uthman bin Sa'id, on page 336 we can read, No one reject this sahih hadith except a mutazilite, which means a heretic. We know what Muslims do to apostates in Islam, right? And it continues saying, and Ibn Taymiyyah in his book mentioned the connected Sahih Hadith from Qutada, from Ikrama, from Ibn Abbas. He said, I saw my Lord in the image of a beardless young boy. He has curly hair in a green garment. And Ibn Kathir in his tafsir said, his chain is on the condition of Bukhari and Muslim. In other words, it's highly, highly authentic. I said, Ad Darami said, the hadith is sahih. The following people called it sahih. Imam Ahmed, Abu Zar'a al Razi, and Ibn Saraqa, and Al Khalal, and Abu Al Hassan bin Bashar, and Abu Talib al Ash'ari, and Al Tabarani, and Abu Ya'la, and Ibn Taymiyyah, and Ibn Kathir, and Ahmed Shakir, and Shaykh al Albani, and others as well. Do you see it? How authentic it is and this hadith has a witness from hadith of Umm Tufail wife of the giant scholar and companion Ubay ibn Kab. hey you yes you stay away from Islam